I've broken today's video into basically two steps to building a really defined chiseled lower chest. Hey guys, Martin McKilly with Live Anabolic, and today I'm going to give you a real simple, straightforward guide to building a chiseled lower chest. So, if you didn't know already, there's three muscle groups in our chest. So we got a muscle that, that kind of attaches up here, all right, to our clavicle and comes down and then attaches to your sternum. And then there's, there's a, a bigger muscle that comes across and, and attaches to your sternum. And it's the, it's the biggest of the three muscles. And then your lower pec muscle down here attaches way down low on your sternum and comes up and attaches up up here near your shoulder joint okay so so three muscle groups and anytime we bring our upper arms together or slightly up or even pushing together slightly down we're engaging those three muscle groups and depending upon the angle that you're pressing or flying making a flying movement you're going to change the emphasis on where the stress is on those three different muscles. It's as simple as that, all right? So today's video is not gonna be me showing you all the different exercises. We got some fantastic videos. I want you guys to use the search feature right here in our YouTube channel. You know that magnifying glass? Just type in the word chest exercise and probably two or three dozen different videos are gonna pop up that Gary and myself have shot. And there it's it's a great feature to use. All right. So so do that. And then you can search through several other videos and, and watch Gary doing them at a gym with all the cool equipment that you know that you have at a gym. And then also my videos are typically done at home where basically I'm showing you how to do everything with nothing more than some dumbbells and some resistance bands. All right. So it depends on your circumstances as to which videos are going to make more sense to you, okay, Gary's or mine. Um, but I've broken today's video into basically two steps to building a really defined chiseled lower chest. Okay, before I get into those two major steps, just remember, guys, we have a fantastic Facebook group. Um, it's free. I'm the moderator, so I'm in there, you know, almost every single day. And there's over 20,000 guys now all around the world. And I'm talking to some of the guys now via Zoom. It's really fun. I've talked to a guy in India today. I talked to a guy in New Zealand yesterday. I mean, it's just, you know, all over the place. And it is a fantastic resource because everybody in there is just like you. They're our age, basically. And it's not just about working out. I mean, we talk about food and nutrition and supplements and injuries and there's also a lot of funny guys in there posting hilarious memes. I love the memes. So I promise you guys won't regret it. Click the link below this video right now. All right. That'll take you to our Facebook group. Apply to get in. Uh, we let most of the guys in if you're not a fake. <laughs> All right. But, but even if you're not a fan of Facebook, and I'm not, join. Create an account. You don't even have to use your own name. You don't have to post any pictures but you will get a lot out of the group and I promise you won't regret it. All right. So the first step guys is the hardest. It's not fun and you have to be very consistent about it. And that is you have to fix your nutrition. So if you're carrying around extra body fat, all right, it will make you look smooth no matter how big your chest is. It will look smooth and it won't look chiseled. All right. You won't have those nice defined lines that make the muscles, any muscle, chest, arms, legs, back, doesn't matter. It's being the definition only occurs when you lower your body fat. Okay. So you have to fix your nutrition. Now, this is not a nutrition video. All right. Just like I mentioned earlier, if you want to delve into a lot of great ideas and specifics, just type nutrition in the, our search bar right here on our YouTube channel, and you will get some fantastic ideas from Gary and myself. And we go into lots of detail. All right. So do that. But, but guys, soft, chubby, smooth is what you're going to look like if you're carrying around too much body fat. And unfortunately, 
you can't target your body fat loss, all right? You can't just do certain exercises to get rid of the fat right here around our chest to make your left chest look more chiseled. Everybody's genetics are differently, but for most men, the first place that we put on fat, right here, and the last place it comes off, right here, all right? It's, it's a bummer. Women, it's, they, do, they do a lot around the waist, but, but a lot of their fat goes on first around their thighs and their butts, and of course, that's the last place it comes off for women. So guys, nutrition is super important, and it's the hardest step when it comes to building a really chiseled lower pecs. Step two, and remember, I'm, I've only broken this into two steps, okay? It's a real simple, straightforward video, and that is you gotta choose the right exercises. And once again, this video, I'm not gonna specifically demonstrate all these exercises, because we got some other videos that where we do just that, Gary and I do. So just use that search bar, type in chest exercise. But, but specifically, guys, if you're working out at home, it's probably worth the small investment to get a bench, all right? They're not really expensive, guys, and they last forever. Now, if you're going to a gym, you got it. You got a bench. And so the deal is, guys, when, you're, when you want to focus on the lower pec, remember I talked earlier, there's three muscle groups in your chest, and they're affected differently depending on the angle that you're moving your arms through, all right? So the plane of your arms relative to your chest or your torso is going to emphasize or de-emphasize those three different muscle groups. So anytime I pick a plane where I'm pushing upwards, okay, relative to my torso, or I'm doing cables or resistance bands and I'm doing flies in an upward movement like this, I'm gonna emphasize the upper muscle in our chest, all right? So yes, the middle muscle group is helping, all right, when you're doing that, but the lower pec muscle, probably doing almost nothing, maybe a little bit, all right? When you're, when you're using this plane, okay, of motion relative to your torso. Now, when you're going straight out at a 90 degree angle, whether it's a pressing movement, all right? And that could be a barbell, or these could be dumbbells in my hands, and I'm doing, basically 90 degrees from here to here, all right? That's gonna emphasize the middle of your chest, but because we're in basically a neutral position when we're doing 90 degrees, we're also getting the lower and the upper at the same time. And that's why typically when you're doing it in this plane, you're gonna be stronger. You'll, you'll be able to lift more dumbbells, you'll be able to use more bands, more, more cable weight when you're doing flies, all right? So anytime we're in this plane, we're hitting all three muscle heads on the chest. And that's why you're stronger because you're activating uh, the highest percentage of chest muscle fibers possible, okay? And that's why you'll see most guys do the majority of their chest exercises in this plane. Now, finally, the lower part of our chest, all right? Because that's kind of what this video is about. And that is anytime you're pushing at a downward angle, all right? So 90 degrees, all right, or neutral. Now we're going down slightly. So if I'm doing a pressing movement or if I'm doing a fly movement, same, same plane, same angle relative to my torso, now, we're really focusing on the lower muscle group of the chest. Now, does that mean we're not getting any of the medial head of the chest? No, we're still, that, that, that middle muscle group in our chest is still being activated even though we're pushing kind of downward, okay, or making a, a downward fly movement. But most of the emphasis has been transferred to the lower pec muscle. And, it's, and, and less stress is on the middle and almost nothing on the upper. And so that way you will actually be emphasizing this lower part of your chest. So picking the right exercises is really important. And then guys, diversifying, okay? Don't do just downward pushing or fly movements, all right, if you wanna hit the lower part of your chest. At least do some of the neutral position where you're going basically out at a 90 degree angle and you can totally avoid the upward inclined movements if 
but only if you're really wanting to focus on the lower part of your chest. Now, most men already have a, a, a fairly well-developed lower chest muscle, okay? It's just kind of natural. But if you're one of the guys that wants to really emphasize that part of your chest, follow these two major steps I talked about. Now, for everybody, you need to do step one. I don't care what muscle group you're trying to emphasize. You got to get that body fat down because that's when things are going to really start to pop because you actually can't see your muscles when they're partially covered with fat. I mean, these huge professional bodybuilders, when, the, when they're in their off season and their body fat percentage really skyrockets, they, they don't look very impressive. They only look really muscular when they're got that body fat down there, you know, in the single digits. And that's when things really start to pop. Now, if you measured their arms or you measured their chest with a tape measure, all right, it's going to be much bigger when they got that extra body fat, but it doesn't look bigger. It actually looks bigger. Your muscles look bigger when you have less body fat and your measurements are actually smaller. So I did a bodybuilding contest when I was 49. I'm 60 now, so it's been a while. But I remember I had a coach helping me with this, and I remember getting depressed because he took tape measurements of kind of the major muscle groups, you know, your arms, your chest, your, your thighs. And as I went through the process and I started dropping body fat, my, my measurements got smaller. I mean, my arms, I lost about an inch on my arms. And that's kind of depressing psychologically. But in the mirror, my arms looked bigger, all right? Because you could see the definition. You could see the shadows that occur from one muscle group to the other muscle group because there's no fat smoothing out that distinction or that line between the muscles. Anyway, so guys, step one is the hardest and it's probably the most important. Step two is actually fun because it gives you the opportunity to do lots of different chest exercises. And like I said, this, this is not a video about the exercises per se. You can easily find tons of great examples just by using the search feature right here on our YouTube channel. All right, so thanks a ton for watching. I appreciate it. Hey, if you guys will help us spread the word about this YouTube channel, I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to get us up to a million subscribers. So if you hit that little like icon below this video, that will help us out. Hit the share button below this video and then subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the videos that Gary and I produce on a weekly basis. And then finally, guys, you want a big chiseled chest, you got to follow steps one and two, but you got to be consistent and never give up on yourself.